This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. Today we're going to take a look at what can best be described as meat in the Word. When I talk about meat, I'm talking about M-E-A-T. You know, the Apostle Paul once chided some believers who had been believers for quite some time, and they, could, they considered themselves to be spiritually mature. And he said to them, and he was trying to explain righteousness to them. And this is what he said, it's in Hebrews. He said, we have much to say about this, but it's hard to explain because you are slow to learn. In fact, though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you the elementary truths of God's word all over again. You need milk, not solid food. Now can you imagine that if you consider yourself to be kind of a spiritual, kind of mature leader in the church, that's it. the apostle Paul says this to you, boy, that would deflate your ego, wouldn't it? Well, today you're getting some meat. We're not getting just the milk, we're getting the meat. Well, normally we go beyond the milk in this class anyway. We study some pretty in-depth stuff, but today you're going to feel like you've been to seminary. And I would encourage you to take notes on, on what we're going to take a look at today and get a copy of the CD and, and listen to it. You know, to get a copy of the CD, you just have to order it. It's in those manila envelopes there on your desk, on your, on your, on your table there. Uh, and you can get a copy of the CD. Listen to it a couple of times while you're going over your notes and kind of assimilate what we're doing because today and next Sunday we're taking a look at how to make your connection with God extraordinary. It's the conclusion of our series on the six strategies. And so this sixth strategy, which is hard to say after St. Patrick's Day, no, I did not. <laughs> Don't even go there. Uh, this is the conclusion. This is the sixth strategy. So. Uh, we begin looking at that today, and I would encourage you to really take the notes and, and, and follow along. Now, the lesson is actually in two parts for, for a very important reason. Today, we're going to take a look at why God wants an extraordinary relationship with you, a, a, an extraordinary connection with you. And next Sunday, we're going to take a look at how God develops that extraordinary connection. Well, why don't we just go straight to the how? Because it won't make sense how God does it until you really get a grasp of why God does that. So it's so important to get this foundation. Why God wants an extraordinary relationship with you. And today I think you're, gonna, you're just going to see some things that I hope will just come alive in you and really uh, stimulate your faith.